Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our full review of the Razer Black Widow X Chroma. Now the X Chroma is the latest uh, Black Widow keyboard available on the market. You can pick it up for $159.99 right now. Of course, you've got the chroma lighting, 16.8 million colors, but there's more to this keyboard than that. Uh, it's got military grade build all together all around. So this thing is solid. It doesn't feel super heavy, but it's still solid. So that's one thing I like about it. I think a lot of people will appreciate uh, the weight, the crafting, and also how, how good it actually feels just in terms of uh, construction and build. Uh, of course, you've got the Razer uh, Snap software, which we'll take a look at uh, later on. Uh, you've got 10 key uh, rollover anti-ghosting, fully programmable keys and macros. But here's what I want to talk about here, the keys themselves, the key actuations. Built from the ground up, uh, these are mechanical keys from Razer. As you can see, the lighting is actually, it's, it's individual keys, but it's actually on the top of the key itself. Now, uh, Razer has built this thing from the ground up and to give you uh, a lifespan of up to, up to 80 million keystrokes, which is great on there. And um, they actually feel really good. You know, when you game with a mechanical keyboard, uh, you know, initial thought is always the IBM typewriter, you know, and with this keyboard here, what they've done is uh, they've, they've created something that kind of feels that way, but also feels a little bit smoother and better. So first of all, just typing with this keyboard is actually really good. Uh, and then game with it also, you get some really nice feedback. You don't lose yourself as you move from key to key. Just the basic thing. Now, before we continue, I want you to take a listen to the keystrokes. Just hear how Razer has reduced the sound volume, especially from the previous uh, Black Widow series keyboard. Now, the lighting setup is a little different. Yes, it's in each individual keys, but it's slightly in front of the keys themselves. Now, this doesn't take away from the lighting effects you get off this keyboard, but it's something that, you know what, uh, someone like me, I I'm not too sure yet, but still nice. Now you've got cable management built into this, so you can either place your cables either directly up or towards the side, whichever pathway you want. It's nice that that is built in there, just so that you can actually have a neater, um, you know, set up on your uh, on your desk or wherever your PC is, wherever you're gaming. So nice cable management is something that, you know, a lot of gamers like to talk about and would like to showcase. So this is something that, you know, Razer's added uh, to the Black Widow X Chroma. Now, the Chroma configurator is one of the new aspects of the keyboard here with the uh, Razer Snap software. You can go in and also make your own Chroma lighting, set them up whichever way you want. Uh, now I've done something really basic. I have my background lighting and my main lighting as red and then the key that I use for gaming are highlighted blue. What that means is that when you look at my keys here, you can see I have just blue and red. You can map this thing whichever way you want to. You can really customize it down and make some nice cool patterns and designs. Now, the other aspects of the keyboard, of course, is the full lighting effects. There's some really new effects there. You can also create your own effects, add to that, um, which is something that a lot of, a lot of gamers would like to have. Um, you can also customize it, add your macros in there. Um, you can also do some chroma maps, apps, which means you can uh, have game tied to your lighting as well as also some checking out your heat mapping and things like that so overall I do like this keyboard at 159 you know it's well priced and I think this is just Razer improving on what they've done with the Black Widow series it's not a huge improvement but it is a worthwhile improvement I would say I think they've made some key improvements in terms of the keystrokes themselves uh, some of the lighting effects that you can actually add in there Granted, there is no USB uh, port uh, in there uh, on this keyboard, which is kind of a bummer because I really liked having one on the previous Black Widow. Uh, but I do like the keyboard. So guys, if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, do subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.